They come in different shapes and sizes, different flavors, colors and textures. They also come in handy on those hot, sweaty days when all you need is a cold, sweet treat. Ever wonder how ice cream is made? Tonight, we tell you how on how things work. Ice cream as you know it is a fusion of different substances, but milk is the basic ingredient. Other ingredients include sugar, milk powder, margarine, vegetable fat, liquid glucose, emulsifiers and stabilizers that make it smooth and improve the texture. This is the Dairyland Ice Cream Factory. Here, cleanliness is the first rule. So, this is the last point where even a supplier should not go beyond this point. This is now our area. Yeah. And once you're inside the factory, you cannot ignore the sweet smell of ice cream. It all starts here. These are the tanks where milk is stored once received from farmers. When the factory is ready to begin the process, the milk is transferred through these pipes to these tanks. All the other ingredients are also added in. When all the components are in, a process they call pasteurization begins. This is to kill um, bacteria, especially the pathogens that would cause diseases or would make uh, someone suffer from any food poisoning. Yeah? Uh, pasteurization also helps in uh, improving the taste of the product and the texture of the product. This process takes about one hour, after which the mixture is pumped into this other tank. Here, homogenization begins. Well, that is basically blending. This ensures all ingredients are integrated to become uniform. After homogenization, the mixture is now ready for the next process, known as, well get this, aging. Aging of mix is the duration which mix has to, has to stay after it has been fertilized and pumped to the aging tank for a certain period of time so that it can gain viscosity. Aging also gives ice cream the smooth and fluffy texture. The mixture stays here for 6 to 48 hours. This definitely needs patience. After aging, the mixture then goes for flavoring. This is an exciting part of the process where the mixture finally starts to look the part. The flavors that go from vanilla to strawberry to blueberry to chocolate, you name it, are added here. Flavoring takes about 10 minutes after which the ice cream is ready but in liquid form. To change this, it is transferred to these freezers that cool the ice cream to negative 18 degrees. A few minutes later, the ice cream starts to ooze out of the pipes and the filling begins. It's a process that needs creativity. One has to twirl the container designing the ice cream from bottom up. I must say this is one place that requires maximum restraint because there are many of this around. It is a quick process. As the filling continues, the labeling continues just as fast. While that is going on, the ice cream chocolate sticks are also in the production process. The liquid ice cream is filled into the tins to be molded, then frozen and then dipped into the chocolate. A few minutes later, they are sent to the packaging area. As this goes on, the ice cream cones are also in the process of production. Here, over 800 cones are produced per day. In total, this factory currently produces up to 12,000 liters of ice cream every day.
storage is the final process. The stores are frozen to negative 25 degrees Celsius to make sure you get your ice cream as fresh and as frozen as possible. And that is the ice cream making process. Betty Kialo, how things work.